Carrie, Lenore, Jim. Good to see you. Nice to see you guys here, too. Well, I too am here on behalf of uh, Greg Hagen. I'm going to begin by telling you a few things that most of us already know. That's why we're here. Jim, Greg Hagen is a good man. There's been a terrible injustice done uh, to Greg with the penalty that the USAA has given him. And we need the support of this school board to help provide a united voice to appeal Greg's punishment. Dick, Greg Hague is a good man. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> we need for you to send a clear and decisive message to the OSAA that we believe this punishment is extreme. And every, every definition of the word is extreme. And this school board, we need your help with this school board as the voice of this community and asking, no, I'm going to say demanding that the OSAA reverse their decision and replace it with one that is fair and equitable. Carrie, Greg Hague is a good man. <laughs> Greg is a positive influence and an excellent role model for the young men at the creator making a transition, sometimes a difficult transition, to manhood. Through his example in the, in the sport of wrestling, he teaches many lessons in life that aren't learned on the mat and have nothing to do with winning state championships. <coughs> Randy, Greg Hag is a good man. Greg Hager has and continues to have a tremendous impact on my son Taylor's life. And I can tell you next to me, there isn't anybody, there isn't a man alive that Taylor looks up to and respects as much as Greg Hager. As Greg Hager. And I can also tell you over the years of watching Greg in action, that he not only talks the talk, but he walks the walk, and that counts. There's a whole room full of people out here that are given the opportunity to agree with that. So tonight we have the opportunity to make, help oh, make right a devastating decision that the OSA has, has come down with. But tonight I'm going to say it's not just an opportunity, it's an obligation. It's an obligation to make sure that this appeal is heard and acted on. It's an obligation to make sure that the OSAE knows that this school board will accept nothing less, nothing less than a reversal of their decision and replace it with one that is fair and equitable. We owe this to Greg. I owe him. You owe him. We all owe him. jump on it today, it happened. Nobody expected it to be a two-year suspension. But well, Randy, I uh, guess I, our concern is why didn't you accompany him there? Yeah. When he was sitting there at, in a board meeting with a bunch of superintendents, why weren't you there backing him up? And why did it even go this far? When, when OSAA had it um, brought this forth, and you guys did your own background search, why wasn't Jeremy's Ineligibility realized that you guys. I can't talk about that's a confidential that's matter. Personnel. Yes, Jeremy's ineligibility is a confidential matter. Much of the information you share is not accurate, but I can't. That's that's up to Jeremy and his family. I can't talk about that in a public meeting. I will tell you, I was involved in a funding and a small schools meeting that day. Nobody anticipated that this was going to be that serious. Certainly not me. In hindsight, Sherry, I wish I'd gone. <laughs> 